Oh, good morning again. Friday morning. Where has the week gone? We're right up at uh, top of uh, Winsham now, in the junction. That's the three greyhounds, as was. And uh, now, minus all its uh, slates, Welsh slate, no doubt. I assume uh, the tea leaves have been out during the hours of darkness and had them away. And I reckon they're about uh, a couple of quid a piece now, and there are a fair few on there. Of course, there's nobody around stopping this at night, so just help yourself, sort of thingy. Uh, this junction never had traffic lights, ever, and you never got held up, never stopped, ever. Now we've got traffic lights on it, and the traffic is stopping, starting, queuing. Waste of time traffic lights. Don't need them, not required, causing problems. Why do they do it? Festoon, the town is festooned with the things. You stop, start, stop, start. I can understand crossings for people, fair dues. But here, I mean, look, no traffic. Traffic starting from behind me, having to stop. It could have come to the junction, four over now to my right, including a bike. Waiting. Coming up this side, no doubt they'll be waiting. Absolute stupidity. No need for it. Costing a fortune main to maintain. Absolutely stupid. Nothing from the left, nothing from straight ahead, no traffic. One coming up now, going to go on there. This guy starting off, and uh, these have been held up because of it. Could have probably got through. Clear, nobody there now. One wagon on my left, as we saw coming up. One coming from the left. On my left now, there's three cars having to stop where normally they'd have gone through, been out of the way, finished with. Council, listen up. Get your head sorted. Looking in a bit of a sorry state, isn't it? So I get a bit of better view on the, uh, the front. No doubt it'll be uh, we're going downhill now. The slates have come up. And it'll get decked, so better get it in there. <laughs> and the camera did work. You know, it's not an easy task, is it? Get them all off. They must have had ladders up, probably around the side, so you couldn't see them. How they got them down, is uh, probably down a plank or something. Some sort of shoot, you know. Bit of foam at the bottom stopping the uh, cracking. Just have a dancer to in that building at the side. I don't know what you can see over yonder. It's a bit of a view down into Winsham. All that traffic caused by the lights having to stop, wasting fuel, causing pollution, stood at traffic lights. That's towards Warrington, Marston, bit near to the right. These are the same, all them had to stop because of lights, wasting fuel, causing pollution. And then they go on about green and load of crap, excuse my French. Just heading down now towards uh, Winchin itself. 
looking over towards Lost at Works and this cottage on the right here coming into view used to be Joe Cross Transport. Right, this be a well, basically a rough bit of ground at the side where these part wagons and trailers and so forth. I think it belongs to uh, Road Jack now. I don't know whether anybody lives there, that's why I'm taking a picture from this angle. If it's just an office, well, I'll uh, take a bit more as I get down. Just do a swift one, the, all the windows are covered over, so. Uh, but all this used to be yard. All there, uh, along the what's name, where those cars are, it was all rough ground and what have you. And there was a guy just uh, just about where this wall is here. Uh, I think that's where it was. There was a guy that uh, used to keep bees. Uh, a bit of rough ground. I think that's about right for it, but might be out a little tad. I can't remember. It's a long time ago. Possibly it was a bit further down, but uh, I remember him. Curly haired fella. Can't just try and think of a technical name for beekeeping. Let's get a bit of a shot back up towards the junction. We just clear the edge now and we get the first uh, sight of uh, what was New Cheshire Salt Works. From what I can see from there, there's not a great deal left, but. Uh, it's like lots of little businesses, so I think we'll be okay to go on and have a bit of a pan around, you know. And I say, all oh, this on the left is uh, all new. That's a bit brick wall. You lock it. But it all used to be rough ground, you know. Can't see the point in locking stuff away, it's just values running off it at a rate of knots because you're paying for storage, you know. Vehicle testing station, HGVs and stuff, I think they are. Rollers garage, been there a while. The amount of businesses now up here, it's amazing. You know, they sort of spring up like mushrooms. <laughs> That's a good thing, I suppose, keep people in work. As you can see on the right, it's, uh, there's a lot of businesses now on here, on uh, New Cheshire. Toilet spares. Oh, it's not one, isn't it? Can't go wrong, can you? Kitchen craft form. They were in town, though, weren't they? Kitchen craft. Sleep easy. It's a bit getting demolished at the back end there. I assume it is anyway. Machines working and towers up. Must have taken some of it down. That's what it's called now. And what happens at fence here? It's a bit of a rumming, isn't it? Unless it's blown over. It's all the little businesses. I don't know what was in them originally, probably garages or something, you know. I think that was one of the main uh, salt work things. A lot of machinery up there, I don't know what that is. Unless it's higher or something. And these were the new offices that New Cheshire had built and then give up not long after. I 
a young lad uh, just come up to me as I was coming out of New Cheshire. What are you doing? Which I do myself, you know, obviously. Or something. I checked before I went in, there's no sign saying from a go in or whatever. But, you know, it's quite, uh, quite right when he was very nice, very interested in what I was doing. I told him where to go, we want to see some of the work the old daft pub has done. I don't suppose you see everybody <laughs> filming a lot like this, you know. I mean, what, what army could do film, I don't know. Uh, there used to be a lane that go, I was just telling her, it used to go, I think this was about the location, it uh, could have been a tad further down. It used to go right across, and then it used to bear left, and it come out at uh, top of the hill at Lostock there, by the, uh, well it's a restaurant now, by the hall. But you could get through at one time, but you can't now. And uh, all this area here across the way was uh, open salt pans, I think they were. I don't think they were covered, but there was hundreds of the blinking things over yonder. But I always remember it being a, a wild grass area before they put all this lot in, you know. Where I am here now, uh, coming from a couple of houses on the right, well they used to continue, right I'll follow this fence line here. I'm not sure how far up they went exactly many years ago, but they did. And uh, I think it was 78 or something like that. Uh, you remember the relations you were showing you in uh, the graveyard? Uh, I think they were uh, they lived about here somewhere, yeah, but uh, obviously lost to time. That was naff. I was just telling this young lad about naff. Uh, you should do fiberglass if you remember. And a mate of mine and our kid used to do model aircrafting, and uh, they used to do fiberglass there. And our kid went pick him up for go off to a model do and he said, Jim, what are you doing walking around here in this? He said, what? He said, there's just covered in fiberglass flying about in the air, dust, you know. Who would have told us it was all right? You're not doing any harm. He never made retirement. Throat cancer, terrible. I don't know whether they got done, they should have done, telling them that. Take a shot back. It was a bit nippy when I set out. Definite nip on my fingers. But with the uh, riding up, got a bit of a sweat on, you know. So it's quite warm now. I think we've got another shower coming on when we get warm. Oh, never noticed that before. It's amazing when you get on your feet. Perhaps Darren would be interested in that one, eh? Wonder where that goes. I'll have to have a look on uh, Google Earth when I get home. Probably goes over to where the mill used to be. Little walks everywhere. <laughs> Concrete plant. Looks like a big affair. And oh, look at cranes over at that. Car sales and not sure where that was Phil Carter's. And get your car washed. I didn't feel but those houses, as I say. It's uh, not a dumb thing, is it? Cheshire blasting, Avic cookers. Mm. Everything's covered, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. These great grapplers here going for it alongside the road. Nice modern offices. Keep it all well kept anyway, I don't know what they do, but some of these names they put up like Signet, you're not a clue what they make. <laughs> Tell you what, I didn't never notice that. Yeah, I? Makes me wonder whether I go around with my eyes closed half the time. Public footpath anyway, it's got a pointer on it, I'll have a look and see if it's got out on it. 
and flushes, third of a mile. Oh, I seem to mean uh, 20 club then, eh? Oh, you learn something every day. Let's have a look at that. Might even walk here one day, take camera. Pretty sure this was Paul's food, wasn't it? One well, Margaret said, uh, about, not heard that name for blinking years, rubber something or other. Forget what she said now. He's a roadblock, great grapplers. <laughs> of council not doing the job again. Good weeds. Now last time this was brushed, de-weeded. As I say, paying loads of money for now. I'm moaning again now. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> Unless it was a friend. <laughs> Doubt it, driving a white van. Ah, I've caught. There should have been some sort of crossing here. Uh, for the railway but it must have been taken out unless it's a bit further down out of sight I'd have to uh, get down there on the bike really you know it can't be far away because uh, the line if you look from back of the houses where it comes across it's uh, not far there it's building supplies and what have you To the way, goes round corner. I think on the right behind them trees there is uh, where crosses went to. There's some old uh, ARF cabs and what have you being left to rot. a shame, really. Some huge guys are probably looking for one. I think they could uh, get them on eBay or something, you? you know. But, uh, there we go, not much we can do down towards uh, what was Bob Roberts is now Road Jack and here pretty well quite a few will remember just here in this ground here was a I think it was one or two cottages but it was something to do with a canal I'm not sure stood empty for years and years and anyway they decided to uh, demolish it and used to be a drive that post wasn't there then. You could drive down, you know, what and you gain access down to the canal here. And, uh, just stop filming. Well, that looks like an old chimney over there. So I just thought I'd have a bit of a zoom in. I don't know how much I could go on manual and get a lot closer, but it gets a bit shaky, <laughs> more than normal. Ah, it looks like an odor, and is that's it must be salt works, that's where it is, isn't it? Because there's not many of them about, so that's uh, salt works from this angle. I was clever working that out, wasn't I? Apparently, <laughs> it's a plot of land for sale, but somebody felt the need to smash the sign. I suppose knuckle draggers have to be appeased now and again. Bill base. Alright, very helpful lads. I had a bit of stuff from now and I did my extension. A couple of garages just beyond. Chapel Street. Let's come down a bit. And she cross, that's Joe Cross's brother. Looks like one of those uh, hard working Europeans we were so desperate for.
But now being ground down there. Don't know whether to ride up or what. So. Getting a bit wary now, people <laughs> pulling you up, you know. Oh, hey, Alec. I think my voice could do with it, but I think I don't think she's capable. <laughs> oh, God. Like a frog with a brick on its toe. But well, I mean, good luck to her. Lots of little businesses. Better systems on the right. Hmm. A squint back. Taxi don't seem to be doing much. There's just no uh, no way you can get down there anymore, John. bungalows there, it's about the best shot I can get without being intrusive. So it's very businessy up here isn't it really? Not a lot else. And this is uh, Bob Roberts and it must be another company part of, you know, under another name. Tax purposes no doubt. Councillor Roberts it used to be. A lot of stone going into these uh, bungalow things there, there's just two tippers just come out with a dropping the stone off, they're banging him up at a rate of knots. Wagon just got past dragging his brake on back trailer. You're not give up gonna set a fire if he carries on, it's smoking like a good one. Quick track is left there. Oh, horrible smell of rubber. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, Heath Lane. Maybe you'll probably know this well. I think you can get right down there. You, if you walk and it's not so bad, I could ride down, but uh, I don't want any more. I just don't feel you've got any confrontation this morning. Just got to uh, tip down the road here and we're done for this little section. Little calf. And uh, as I say, mobile only things. Cop. It's like they're going to build a new house, as I probably said in the last video, you know. Nice pairs there, don't the tree.
that's more or less where the railway came out there where those plants are but as you can see it's impenetrable now you just can't get in you know I'm more or less standing where all the tracks were there's just no uh, no way you can get down there anymore John And then we're back down to Warrington Road. Well that'll do for today. Ride back now. <laughs>